All right, a while ago I had done a another video of a first look at the Bookings Connector in Power Automate. Essentially, this was a a new uh, standard connector that allowed us to trigger a flow when a new booking is created, when it's canceled, or uh, I forget the other one. But basically, you can trigger a flow based on the state of a booking, and this is kind of substantial because we didn't really have a good way to do it before that that particular connector was introduced. And one of the problems that, that was noticed in that early version is that the uh, if you had set up custom questions for a booking uh, for a particular service, you can, you can add custom questions to get more information from the person who's requesting the appointment. Uh, you weren't able to get that, at least not for one-to-one -one bookings. It did work if you were creating a group booking, uh, but since not a lot of people are using that, more people are using it for one-to-one, -one, it was kind of a, a noticeable um, uh, missing feature there. So uh, it seems like since then Microsoft has addressed this and now those custom uh, questions and answers are available. So just to show you an example of this, I'm going to go over to um, my bookings page here. Uh, this is my personal counseling booking and I'm going to say I'm looking for application support and specifically I want to book with Chad and I want to book next Wednesday April 26th at say 10.35 a.m. that sounds good and I, at the bottom there's, well, we have to give a name. We'll say this is Robert Hogan. Or Hogan. And then the additional information, which application do I want help with? Let's say I am using SharePoint and I want to, you know, want to create a new list and have some questions. And I'll click book. And we'll take a moment. There we go. That's booked. So now if I jump back over to the flow here, and there's our flow that ran four seconds ago. And when I look at it, we'll see in the, I just have kind of the trigger and then a compose action where I'm dropping the body. So the whole, basically all of the data coming out of that trigger is showing up here. And what I can see looking through that, I'm just click show raw outputs. Um, we can see here that there is the body. We have additional info as a section. Um, and then within that, we have this array of custom question answers. Uh, so just like any other situation where we have an array and we want to get data out of it, one of the cleanest ways to do that is with a uh, select action. So I know that the array is custom question answers, and then I can see that the objects in that array are the answer, the answer options, the question, question, and the selected options, etc. Uh, so what I want to do, close out of this, edit this, and I'm going to add a select action here. So new step, select, and what do I want to select from? That was custom question answers. And it's important to select the right one here because we've got custom question answers answer, answers question. I want the one that just says custom question answers. So those three words all stuck together without any spaces or anything else. So there we go. So that's the array that we're pulling from. And I want to get first the question. And for that question, I basically looking at the array, I just have it open another window here. We can see that the this is the array, and I want to get the, it's, no, it's formatted answer, then question, but I really want to get the question first. So what I need to do is just a little bit of uh, digging through the syntax here to get the current items question. 
So that is very simply using the expression item, open and close paren, question mark, square bracket, question. And I'm just going to copy that because the expression to get the answer is pretty much the same except replace question with answer. So I'll just click OK. And then here we'll say answer. Go to expression, paste it in, and just change question to answer. Now, if you've got, uh, in this case, whether you have one question or 10 questions, this is going to spit out an array of those questions and answers together. So what I want to do is format this together into a table. So I'll add another step here. HTML table. Create HTML table. What do I want to select? Or what do I want that created from the output of the select? Let me just rename that select action. Select custom Q's and A's, keep it simple. Um, and then lastly, just so we can see what that's gonna look like, I'll add another compose action. And we will view the output of that create HTML table. Easy enough. So I'm just gonna rerun that same flow. I won't bother creating a new booking, but I will rerun it on the previously used trigger, click test, just so we can see that now we have our select Q's and A's and we're getting the answer, the question, etc. And if we look at our create HTML table, there is the from and there is the output of that. So we've got the question, we've got the answer, the question, what application, SharePoint, briefly, what do you want to do? create a new list, have new some questions. Now I asked, I didn't really need to put this HTML action here because, or this compose action rather, because it just spits out the raw HTML. But you know, it's still a good practice just to, to know what you're getting. But I kind of like that you can preview that HTML table right here in the output of the create HTML table action. Uh, so that's cool. So this kind of eliminates one of the hangups with using the bookings connector so now if you are using bookings and you have those custom questions and answers as part of your different services you'll be able to get that information and whatever you're doing with it in Power Automate whether you're putting it into a SharePoint list or sending an email you can get that data put it into that HTML table and then save it wherever you need to save it do whatever you need to do with it in fact the point is you can get that now where we couldn't get that before uh, so hopefully you find this useful if you do, feel free to, to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below.